This is Egypt's number one for hit music, 104.2, Nile FM. Now, Nile FM's aware with Adam. Welcome one and all, and uh, you know what? Today is going to be the roundup, the second interview with El Fit Challenge. Uh, of course, powered and sponsored and partnered with Nile FM. Great news coming up. Egypt's number one for hit music, 104.2, All right, if I sound a little bit too excited or not excited at all, please understand, um, because t- today my guests are very, very interesting individuals from El Fit Challenge and Festival, uh, the place and the location where the Nile FM team engaged other teams in a rope pulling contest in which, well, we lost miserably. That's all I'm going to say for now, and we'll, we'll spare the details. But Murad and Adam are here with us today in the studio to kind of talk about, uh, we already had uh, somebody from Ilfit two weeks ago talking about what is going to happen. Right now, we want to talk about what actually happened, the highlights, and where this is going in the future. Murad, Adam, thank you very much for coming in on the show. Let's kick it off with Adam. Just a quick recap, in case somebody missed the last show, what exactly is Il Fit uh, as a challenge and as a festival? Uh, basically, um, the, the festival is, an, um, is, is, is a festival, it's an event, where we uh, have a lot of different activities happening at the same time. Uh, the challenge is, uh, the main, I would say it's the main show uh, in the festival, uh, where we're trying to have athletes uh, with different uh, backgrounds to come and compete uh, to find out who's the, the fittest in Egypt. Uh, being the fittest is, is just not being strong or fast just uh, that you combine all the aspects of uh, uh, fitness uh, so uh, that's basically the challenge uh, for the festival we have a lot of different activities like uh, a running race a bikes ride uh, we had the rope pull challenge we have uh, don't remind me please yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly and we have um, we had a wrist uh, challenge we had a stage where uh, the Nile FM stage where we had a lot of uh, professional instructors giving free sessions for people uh, uh, we just, just we're just trying to bring uh, different brands and different uh, type of activities for everyone just to enjoy uh, a full-fledged day of fitness and uh, exactly and it's all in the spirit of fitness is sports being healthy being fit um, and the exercise and the activities that you could do around this and of course it's worth mentioning that the challenge is open to anybody so you got the men the women the masters which are senior citizens as well as groups as well exactly uh, that's worth mentioning and of course we were there um, and uh, yeah the rope challenge that that didn't really go as planned uh, Murad is with us today because you, you're one of the affiliates and, and like the the consultants so to speak of the uh, of the event and you were the one that was managing the technicalities of it all walk us through that please oh, exactly um, I'm I'm the one who was representing the affiliate that's the technical partner of the uh, fit challenges so basically we're the most hated people on the on the floor because we were the responsible of engineering the whole challenges thing and putting all the guys in the misery they went through and uh, setting the standards of uh, the judges. So basically you were the people that everybody when they were lifting weights or getting too tired saying Hasbi Allah and Exactly. <laughs> all exactly. right. And a lot of other more. <laughs> So, um, how did you how did you design this? What went into it, and why did it look the way it did? Well, basically, uh, what we did is uh, it came from the idea that we are choosing the fittest in Egypt, and we wanted to come out of the idea that the fittest is the guy that runs longer than others or uh, faster than the others only. Uh, we went uh, through uh, that the broader definition of fitness, where actually it has to be strong, you have to be fast, you have to be. Uh, good at cardiovascular endurance so basically we took that uh, three fundamentals of, uh, of of that will engineer any workouts which are gymnastics and uh, weightlifting and the cardio and we mixed them into a bit of intense and, uh, and hard exercises uh, to test uh, the potential of each athlete. You put the judges in some kind of boot camps and, and you designed the scoring system how did you do that? Uh, well, uh, the whole idea was, and we have to, we we had to get uh, the standards of judging a uh, little bit more higher. So, in order to do that, we had to put uh, the judge themselves through the challenges, uh, through workshops. Uh, we went like a couple of months of every week, uh, twice a week, uh, where, where the guys working out and they're judging each others, and we're doing hypothetical scenarios of what might came uh, come up. Uh, from the athletes on the ground and they've been judging each other and we've been supervising everyone 
uh, and putting the, uh, giving them some scoring sheets so that they can track the repetitions of the athletes in the most accurate manner. Uh, so that it, when the event comes, everybody been there, done that uh, before, it goes easier than uh, than the ones before that. Yeah. They were 100% prepared and I, I personally was there for the second day and it just seemed that everything was going like clockwork. No glitches, no hiccups, everybody knew exactly what they wanted, what they were supposed to do, everybody was in their place and I saw the judges running back and forth with the athletes to make sure that everything is as accurate as possible. So I guess what I'm trying to say is, you did a bloody good job at doing this, man. It was an absolutely phenomenal day. How did this idea come to mind and uh, where are you taking it to the future? Uh, well, basically, the, the whole idea um, uh, just came, I mean, it just, it's, it's a trend. I would call it it's a trend worldwide. A lot of fitness events has been going uh, all over the world to, to find out who's the fittest. You have a lot of obstacle uh, challenges everywhere. So that that's how it came to our to my mind and my partner, Mohammed Henmi. Uh, uh, we wanted to do something different to uh, challenge the people and uh, to find out who's, as I told you, the fittest. It's just, uh, I only ask because, like, you know, by and large, traditionally speaking, Egyptians are not known for their passion towards fitness. We're known for our passion towards mahshi, uh, kawara, and a whole bunch of other very healthy food, obviously, but not really fitness. So how did you manage to make it so appealing? Yeah, I, I would say, uh, yeah, especially the last event, we had almost 400 athletes competing, which was really a big number for us. That's amazing. Yeah, I mean, the first event we had below 200, the second event we had around 250 and the third event it was 375 and we had to close the registration especially for men like one week earlier so uh, I mean I mean yeah it's it's it's, it's getting uh, more popular it's uh, so in that case what's next um, we have we have huge plans for the for, for 2013 we want to go regional we want to um, do uh, more than a qualifier to give uh, more chance for more people I would say for, uh, we had a total of uh, almost 800 people competing in the three events. Now we want to expand it to be uh, maybe 1,500 or something. Uh, we also are looking to have um, uh, an, the event in uh, uh, in the Middle East. So we have uh, El Fit Middle East. So basically stepping outside the fittest person in Egypt to the fittest person in the MENA region. Exactly. It is coming to be that time of day and uh, we're going to have to wrap things up. Before we do though, Adam and Murad from El Fit Challenge challenge and festival here with us today. Murad, I'm gonna go back to you for just a minute and ask you, I mean, you should see this guy. He's a serious hunk of beef. It's amazing. I feel like a dwarf next to you. It's ridiculous. Uh, but since you're the person that's like, you know, very, very into fitness, what kind of preparation goes into an athlete's regimen to prepare for such an event? Well, uh, generally, uh, athletes should start getting uh, a broader version of uh, fitness. Uh, fitness and define it into a more uh, ge generic manner. Uh, meaning that it's not just about uh, how much I lift in the gym today or uh, how many kilometers I ran on the treadmill. It's how much work I can uh, produce in a short period of time and how heavy I can go and how long I can run and how fast I can go. I can go all combined together and how constantly I'm uh, improved at all fitness uh, aspects. Amazing. So it's basically get prepared for the unknowable, as they say in CrossFit, which which what we do. Instead of just focusing on other little binge in, exactly. in the gym, that's pretty much exactly. what a lot of Egyptians are focusing on. <laughs> binge boy, that kind of thing. We need to go to more broader uh, definitions. Yeah. Perfect, perfect. Uh, Adam, I want to ask you in this regard, how do people get in touch? How do they register? And do you already have a date set for what your, when your next event is going to be? I just, I just want to go very quick and add something to what Murad said is that uh, the whole idea is to, uh, to turn the people that go to the gym to athletes by competing, by having a competition for them to compete at. So that was a main objective for us. Now, if you want to know more details about uh, the event and when is our next challenge, you can follow El Fit Egypt uh, on our Facebook page where we can have all the information needed. El Fit Egypt, one word. Exactly. No, El Fit Space Egypt. El Fit Space Egypt. Exactly. There you have it. Get involved. Track what these guys are doing. It's an absolutely phenomenal event. I personally was there. It was mind blowing to see how much, uh, uh, like, you know, how many people were there, how much dedication went into this. It was absolutely wonderful. Hats off to you guys. And thank you so much for taking the time. As I always mention, though, if you're working on something to give back to the community, to make Egypt a better place, let me know. Send me an email, aware at nileradioproductions.net. Tell me a little bit about what you're doing, your initiative or project or event, and we'd love to have you right here on the show. 
That's it from us, though. Hope you had a great weekend. We'll catch you next one with another group of individuals where it's all about giving back to the community.